Why should you conduct crisis management and business continuity exercises? This is a question that we get a lot here at BrightPath, usually because a company doesn't want to devote the time to actually holding the exercise. They view it as a waste of time, um, which usually I think has happened because they haven't had effective exercises before. But there's a couple critical reasons why you want to make sure you're regularly holding crisis management and business continuity exercises. The first, of course, is to test or exercise your plans. For example, if your plan calls for the handoff of information between your crisis management team and your executives and from your executives to your board of directors, then you need to practice that so that when you have the actual incident happen, you know if what you've lined out in your plan is going to work. So we wanna practice our plans and certain scenarios within our plans so that we're pressure testing these sorts of things and make sure that they work. Another big reason you wanna do exercises is so that you can simulate the development, approval, and delivery of communications crisis communications to your internal audiences, to your external audiences, to your stakeholders, to your investors. These are things you need to practice under pressure in a crisis exercise so that you can do these things if the unfortunate incident happens and they happen for real. The third is that no matter how you're set up, you probably have some kind of interplay or collaboration between various teams in a crisis. You need to practice that. Involving multiple teams in a crisis or the handoff of information in a crisis creates friction. You may have third parties involved in a crisis. You may have an outside cyber extortion negotiator. You may have an outside comms firm. You may have outside counsel that you need to work with. You may have forensics folks that you need to work with. That will introduce friction into that crisis plan and you need to practice that. But the most important reason the biggest reason why you want to practice things in a crisis exercise, in a business continuity exercise, is so, so that you are building muscle memory. You're building confidence of your team in being able to do these roles in a crisis. You're building that muscle memory around your crisis capabilities and your plans, and you're doing it in a safe, simulated environment where you're able to make mistakes in a way that don't ruin your organization's reputation or hurt folks or really damage your operating capability. So we do exercises to practice and so shall you practice will be the way that you fight. That's it for this week's video here at Bright Path. Follow us for more videos like this, shorts and other podcasts along the way. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.